How to find the mean, median, and mode given a group data in decreasing order. The data is all about the ages of 40 women when they each had a boyfriend. Based on the group data, find the mean, median, and the mode. Mean is equal to the sum of the product of the frequency and the class mark divided by the total frequency. Where F is the frequency, capital X is the class mark or the midpoint. Fx is the product of the frequency and the class mark. Summation of Fx is the sum of the product of the frequency and the class mark. Summation of F is the total frequency. X bar is the sample mean. Let's add a column for the class marks. To find the class mark, add the lower limit and the upper limit, then divide the result by 2. Example, 25 plus 27 is 52 divided by 2 is 26. 22 plus 24 is equal to 46 divided by 2 is 23. Next is 20, 17, and 14. Let's add another column for the product of the frequency and the class mark. 5 times 26 is 130. 7 times 23 is 161. 14 times 20 is 280. 11 times 17 is 187. 3 times 14 is 42. Find the sum. 130 plus 161 plus 280 plus 187 plus 42 is equal to 800. Find the total frequency. 5 plus 7 plus 14 plus 11 plus 3. The sum is 40. Divide 800 by 40. The mean is 20. Median is equal to the lower boundary of the median class plus the quantity one half of the total frequency minus the cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class divided by the frequency of the median class times the class width. What is the median class? The median class is the class with the smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to one half of the total frequency. Let's add a column for the less than cumulative frequency. Copy the frequency of the lowest class interval, then add the frequencies successively. The lowest class interval is 13 to 15 and the frequency is 3. 3 plus 11 is 14. 14 plus 14 is 28. 28 plus 7 is 35. 35 plus 5 is 40. The total frequency is 40 and one half of 40 is 20. The smallest cumulative frequency greater than or equal to 20 is 28, meaning our median class is 19 to 21. The frequency of the median class is 14. The cumulative frequency of the lower class next to the median class is 14. When the data values are whole numbers, simply subtract 0.5 from each of the lower limits to find the lower boundaries. The lower boundary of the median class is 18.5. Find the class width, just subtract two consecutive lower limits. 16 minus 13 is 3. Median is equal to 18.5 plus the product of the quantity 20 minus 14 divided by 14 and 3. This is equal to 18.5 plus the product of 6 divided by 14 and 3. This is equal to 18.5 plus 1.29. Median is equal to 19.79. Mode is equal to the lower boundary of the modal class plus the product of the quantity d sub 1 all over d sub 1 plus d sub 2 and the class width. d sub 1 is the highest frequency minus the frequency of the next lower class. d sub 2 is the highest frequency minus 
the frequency of the next upper class, I is the class width. The modal class is the class with the highest frequency. The highest frequency is 14, and the class with the highest frequency is 19 to 21. To find the lower boundary, just subtract 0.5 from the lower limit. The lower boundary of the modal class is 18.5. The class width is just the difference between two consecutive lower limits. 16 minus 13 is 3. D sub 1 is the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the next lower class. 14 minus 11 is 3. D sub 2 is the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the next upper class. 14 minus 7 is 7. Mode is equal to 18.5 plus the product of 3 over 3 plus 7 and 3. This is equal to 18.5 plus the product of 3 over 10 and 3, which is equal to 18.5 plus 0 0.9. Mode is equal to 19.4.